I say, this stadium is uh, extra special. Dan Bewley out on track, heat number two. Don't take your eyes off this. This is some line up here, people. Um, we've got the world champion now. Top two in the world from last year here with uh, Leon Madsen up at tapes as well. As I say, if it's half as good as the first race, we're in for a treat, that's for sure. Former world number two, Patrick Dudek, hasn't started a season like he would want. Looking to find some form here tonight in Warsaw. And um, uh, needing to turn it up. Just dipped out in Godashan, didn't really enjoy the conditions. No, so, tough conditions, didn't it? Didn't enjoy, enjoy them at all. Uh, heat number two then, Bartosz Schmalzik on the inside in red. Leon Madsen out of gate two in blue. Patrick Dudek out of gate number three in white. And Dan Bewley off the outside in uh, yellow. And Dan Bewley, it will not have escaped his attention that you can roll around the outside. He loves it there. Uh, he's, he's natural at it. You know, he can really make the bike flow. And uh, he'll be looking to uh, make full use of that, particularly on the first turn. Schmalzik, 500th Grand Prix heat. Can he make it a big one? going to need to make a better start than Mickelson did. Doesn't mean to say he can't win the race, though, does it? Nope. Here we go, then. Green lights on, heat number two. Takes up. Away we go. Oh, what a start on the inside for Smarsley. Bewley's coming. Bewley around the outside. He's going to get there. He's going to fire himself to the front. That grip on the outside is working. Oh, Smarsley's all over the place. He's off the bike. Drama in the opening race for the world champion. He's down. He's going to be thrown out for that. Uh, track conditions caught him out. He had to turn the bike hard. He had Bewley just laying it down on him to pin him down to the inside. And uh, he certainly caused, uh, I think it's Leon, Leon Madsen, Madsen that's down, down as, well. as well. And he caused that as well. Yeah. I think uh, Smarsley's going to have to go here for sure. Yeah, he's in grave danger of Jesper Steentoft uh, throwing him out here. We'll uh, keep our eyes on for the exclusion lights. But uh, that was uh, a rider error there. Just turned the bike inside out. And that caused the problem for Leon Madsen. And uh, we, once again, we saw that outside line working beautifully for Dan Bewley. But a disappointing start for the championship leader and the world champion. It's going to put him under so much pressure now. He's uh, see see it again. scoring points this way. We can see there Bewley's just pinning him down. Turns oh. hard because he has to. And the back tyre just gives in. Leon Madsen has to get out of it. And uh, he goes down, but it was caused by uh, Bartosz Marslik here. Stops the bike, tyres let go. Leon Madsen can't afford to hit his back wheel, lays the bike down. And uh, I can only see one exclusion light coming on for this one. Yeah, a very awkward moment there for the world champion. Just uh, almost going reverse there for a moment. Leon Madsen's on his feet. Up. So that's good news for the Danish rider. He'll be back in the rerun. I fear it, it, will, uh, it will be that... It's um, got to be that uh, surely... Um, uh, the world champion will be the one that's in grave danger of being here. Yeah, the Red Lake Schoolage and Light is now on, so Bartosz Smarzik will not be in the rerun, and it will have a rerun with just three competitors this time. But a very awkward moment there for oh. Bartosz Smarzik. Yeah, a worrying moment, very awkward crash. They're just the sort of crashes that uh, you can pull muscles in your back, particularly as the bike is just pulling me in all sorts of shapes. And uh, it does go down quite hard, but he was up quite quickly. I'm sure he's very annoyed with himself because it was just a simple mistake. Yeah, I guess it's he early, made. isn't it? He's got four more opportunities to make the same. We saw him actually inexplicably touch the tapes two weeks ago, but it didn't, didn't stop him winning the Grand Prix. He is the sort of guy that uh, can sort of put it to, to one side, but there's no question the pressure here in an Aradovi. Smarzik's never made the final. There's something about this place. It just it hasn't quite clicked in all the times he's been here so far. So he's going to have to dust himself down and just uh, give himself a little bit of a talking to down in the pit there. And uh, then come out roaring in his second ride. We'll wait and see where that is, where we're looking now for Bartosz Schmeiser to come out. He'll, um, uh, he'll be out in heat number five. five. So go off gate number three. And uh, he'll be hoping for better luck that time. Leon Madsen just taking his time now to go back to the pit area. He'll want to give his team plenty of opportunity to get that bike sorted out and uh, try and make uh, a better start in the rerun. Yeah, it is a tactic employed by riders uh, to give his mechanics time to straighten out the bike. He will stay on the track as long as possible, but uh, I'm sure race director Phil Morris will be looking at the clock and giving him as much time as he possibly can because he's gone down and, of course, the crash wasn't his fault, so he has to be given enough time to sort himself out. Yeah, fortunately... Unfortunately, no, nobody heard, but um, uh, we can get some reaction now while we've got a short delay. We can hear from Mikkel Mikkelsen now.
Yeah, just joining Mikkel Mikkelsen. Mate, what a first race. I kind of uh, didn't expect that one that early on. Um, you know, sometimes you're lucky on these kind of tracks. When you mess up the start that bad and everyone is just riding the same line, you know, they left the outside line uh, nice and uh, spacious for me. And went out there and this, the bike started going and I started building some speed. I was just like, I'm just going to continue and see if I can at least get one point. But then when the bike picked up, I was just like, I'm just going to keep chasing the dirt. I made it work. It's almost like, yeah, you kind of got put there. I don't know if that's necessarily your plan, but it worked fantastic. Yeah, you know, it was a good way to start the meeting. Obviously, I would like to make it easier for myself and make the start. So uh, we're going to do some tricks to the bike, see if we can uh, get it to pop a little bit better out of the start and uh, make life easier for myself. Perfect. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, great reaction there from the opening heat winner. It was a spectacular ride. And, uh, of course, you always want to get some fresh air if you can pop off the start. It does make life a touch easier. But uh, certainly from a neutral's point of view, it was very entertaining to watch. Oh, it certainly was. I mean, it was fantastic to be able to do that in heat one. I think it shows the quality of the rider, of course, but we've got 16 good riders here tonight. Uh, but also how good the track is, you know, that the shape is working, the surface is working. It held up very, very well in qualifying yesterday with the fastest time coming on, towards please? the end of the session. So, uh, yeah, very impressive. Indeed, two minutes is on for the rerun of heats number two. Just the three riders for you. We are without the world champion and um, uh, right, um, uh, it's um, not too much longer. We've got Dudek and Dan Bewley out on track and uh, they'll be making their way back round. Dan Bewley had made a decent start from the outside and had managed to get round the outside and uh, hit the front. Bewley, if he gets away nicely, he uh, got close to the final, of course. He made the semi-final two weeks ago and took God hand, but just missed out there in the semi-final. He'll be wanting to make the final, as uh, all the competitors will be, but there's no question Bewley has the speed and he has the two victories under his belt already. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Dan Bewley in the first attempt to run the race because he had made a great uh, effort around the first turn to sweep around the outside of Bartosz Marsnik, and he's now got to do it all again. Indeed he has, and uh, Leon Madsen, no question, has a second chance here. Often is the case. So the line-up for heat number two, the rerun, no rider on the inside gate. Gate number two in blue is Leon Madsen. Gate number three in white is Patrick Dudek and Dan Bewley going from the outside in yellow. Uh, an opportunity, a guaranteed point here for these three. They'll all be charging hard for the three, of course. Patrick Dudek, uh, just sensed a little bit like last year, started the season poorly felt like it really wasn't going anywhere and then one in Tetra and really did turn his season around. Class act is Patrick but uh, just needs to find a bit of a spark again in his racing. Yeah it does, he's been on the podium here in 2019 so we know he can do it. So here we go then, heat number two, second time the last game we're underway quickly, Dudex made a good one but Neil Madsen's there but once again Bewley roaring round that outside, loves that, hits the front down the back straight, Dudek into second place, Madsen now trying to square the corner off, he's done it, nicely up the inside, it's tied but Neil Madsen will now just edge into second place, can Dudek react? Dan Bewley, he's going to be a hard man to catch from there, he's on the edge of that dirt, he loves it there silky smooth style from the British rider out in front, Madsen now back into second place, Dudek relegated to third, but Bewley looking good Yeah, after a good start, uh, Leon Madsen gave himself a lot of work to do, he roared straight out to the outside, he'd obviously seen his compatriot Mikkel Mickelson make the dirt line work, but unfortunately just exposed himself for the cutback and he's had to work on Dudek but he's got no answer to Dan Bewley keeping it smooth out front. Bewley out in front's going to win it easy. Lovely opening ride from the British rider. Leon Madsen, a solid second place after being bailed off the bike after that dramatic incident in the initial stagings of heat number two. Patrick Dudek picking up the solitary point. Much disappointed, I would suggest, but a super start for the evening's work from Dan Beauty off the outside gate. Two races, two wins from gate number four. Smarslick, of course, was excluded, so the result is Beauty three points. Neil Madsen, a solid second place there, two points for him. Patrick Dudek back in third place, one point for him, and Smarslick um, uh, fails to score. Lots uh, of talk about Dan Bewley, but let's see this again. A lovely first turn here. Yeah, Madsen just runs straight across to the dirt, thinks they've got to stop the run of uh, Dan Bewley. Wasn't able to do that. Opened himself up for a lovely time to uh, cut back from Patrick Dudek. He roars up the inside. Uh, Madsen read that one well, to be fair to him, and makes the cutback back on him. 
up the inside, but he had no answer for the speed of Dan Bewley out front. Once he gets fresh air, he's very, very quick. Yeah, we've seen that throughout last year, and once again, he's performing at a very high level here. And uh, it was a terrific opening ride for him. He'll be relaxed now. First ride out of the way, he always tense before the first race, and in a big arena like this, then you've got to believe that uh, all these riders will be feeling a few butterflies.